Good morning, folks. Lots of cool can't-miss news stories here today. New planets, nova, galactic waves, and Earth's rotation glitches. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun relatively calmer. Filaments are slow dancing now, no dangerous active regions, and the southern coronal hole is departing with its primary solar wind impact, not having arrived just yet. All is calm in the plasma stream, and the minor enhancement from the coronal hole should be arriving soon. Let's go out to tests and the discovery of sister star systems with newly discovered planets. The stars are pretty close together in the sky, and they appear to be about the same distance away, so they may indeed be sister stars, and their planets are all giving them headaches. The teenage level stars, as they are described, have indeed fully come together in mass, but are still turbulent and hot and relatively unwelcoming to life. Circle of life on the planetary scale. Up next, in what is more than a nod to the concept of expanding the types and environments of nova progenitors, here's a list of over 800 candidates to supernova or recurrently nova. Beast list here. Hopefully we recall that video of ours called You Don't Know Nova. Up next is a double. Part 1 and Part 2 paper release. The first part is the introduction and speaks more to human-made EMF signals and some of their risks. The second one speaks to both human and natural EMF signals and solidifies the point that life is critically intermingling with the electromagnetism on this planet. When the signals change, we can only imagine the expanse of that effect. Now folks, we're heading to the galactic fields and we're at a weird point in the subfield where almost everybody recognizes the interspiral waves not the arms of the galaxy, but the smaller scale ripples throughout. The issue is only about half of them put it with the Taurus jet model of the galaxies and the galactic current sheet, and the others look at it more from a resonance perspective, divine math sort of thing. Hopefully, we remember Dr. Sofu, the guy who found the dark nova remnants of the poor little star that wandered into a molecular cloud and exploded. He's on the resonance math aspect of the galactic spiral shocks, and instead of the rippling current sheet, he's in the camp that sees the shocks like this, arm to arm. I do prefer the first one, the galactic current sheet, but practically, here in the solar system, it doesn't matter as long as they exist. And to his credit, this looks a lot like that recent crop circle in England, spiral arms and the interim shocks. Either way, these waves, or bumps as he calls them in the paper, deliver the same electromagnetic insult to the solar system. Now last but not least, folks, we have gone over the two macro scale causes of changes in Earth's rotation, glitches and the length of a day. One is definitively major solar storms, we've seen dozens of studies on that. And the other cause is geomagnetic jerks from the Earth's core. Here, they're identifying and solidifying two of the interdecadal cycles of those glitches, the 5.9 and 8.5 year glitch cycles of rotation. They suggest that these are the geomagnetic jerk-driven oscillations because 5.9 years and 8.5 years are not matching the external forcing cycles. Ergo, this one is due to the geomagnetic jerk effect. But there's a tiny problem because the 1.7 year solar subharmonic, while questioned here and there, it's also been identified numerous times. Five cycles of 1.7 years is exactly 8.5 years. So that one may be the sun. And 5.9 years, that's approximately half the solar cycle and is also a harmonic of the annual variability within the solar polar fields. Folks, what we can't do for sure is tell you if these are solar forced or geomagnetic jerk forced or the sun jerks the core which jerks the rotation or if it's all of them working together at the same time. I'm not saying it's the last one, but it's the last one. We greatly appreciate your support. In the disaster series link right below the video, there's a lot more information on the solar storms, geomagnetic jerks, and their effect on Earth's rotation. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.